What's going on guys, Also A6 here, back to another video, and today I have another album review for you guys. This time I'm going over the latest offering from New Wave of Traditional Heavy Metal slash Classic Traditional Heavy Metal Up and Comers Enforcer Nostalgia. This album comes out on the 5th of May, May the 5th be with you, of 2023. Uh, this is their si sixth album overall, released on Nuclear Blast Records, and this band formed in. Uh, apologize if I if I mispronounce this, Arvika, Sweden, which they will later move into Stockholm back in all uh, in 2004. And I've heard these guys before, and I have always heard their stuff, but never heard of their material, and. As a first time listening, well, we're going to get into that here in a bit. And also, I do apologize if you guys hear, like, chimes in the background, my door's open, and my screen window outside's open, and uh, my producer is currently sleeping by me right now, so I'm going to try not to wake her up, but I ain't guaranteeing anything. But anyways, enough of the chicanery, let's get on to the album review in question. So we kick off the album with a very atmospheric synthesized intro Armageddon and then it cuts into Unshackle Me which is one of the singles off this album which has a very melodic groove and a really killer solo and I don't sound like a broken record when I say melodic and groovy and killer solo because that's basically the entire thing with this album and it's a weird it's kind of an odd choice to put that at the beginning uh opener at first but as the album goes on, it doesn't really stick out that badly. Because after that, we have Coming Alive, which is very emphemic and very, very, very damn good. And some other emphemic songs like Demon and especially White Lights in the USA. Like that song in particular, holy God, like especially the gang vocals, that is some really killer stuff. And actually the vocalist, uh, apologies if I mispronounce his name. His name is, let me look here, Olaf uh, Wittsrand. I think that's how you pronounce the same. I apologize. He's not only the vocalist, but he's also the uh, guitarist alongside Jonathan Nordwall. And the guitars, the solos on this album are really, really, really damn good. They kind of remind me of some Randy Rhodes like Shredcraft, which I really did like. And not to mention Olaf's brother Jonas is also on drums, keyboards, and piano. And the bassist Garth Conduct, uh, he does some really, really solid bass work when you can actually hear it. And I'll get to that the negatives here in a bit, but all in all, those are some really damn good tracks. And then you have the more balladish stuff, like Heartbeats, which have more acoustic stuff. It feels like a ghost song. Um, when, I, when I was looking at this album, I was looking through the comments, and this song in particular, somebody said this feels like a ghost song. I agree with them. This does feel like something that like maybe Tobias Forge would pick up and put it on a ghost album. And it's actually kind of really unique and some and then uh, the unique acoustic intros um uh, kind of come up again especially in the title track what has a really acoustic melody to it and speaking of ballads the second to last track keep the flame alive is borderline funk like it's a borderline funk metal song it's got a very funky funky chorus like a funky vibe to it which i really 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 do like but you get to this song like Kiss of Death, sh straightforward Motorhead. That is a complete Motorhead song. I can sense that by the way. I can sense Lemmy can do that song. I was surprised he didn't do that on the Kiss of Death album back in 06. Uh, really, really, really damn good song. Possibly my favorite track on this entire album. And when I say there's some grooves and some catchy stuff, there's some really damn good grooves on this album. Like No Tomorrow, um, Unshackle Me. And also uh, at the end of the rainbow, which is a very damn good song, very catchy, almost power metal ish in some ways. And even the song Metal Supremacy, I think that's how you say it. I, I think they're singing in Japanese on that track. It sounds Jap Japanese, which okay, that's really unique. 
And then you have the epic album closer when the thunder when the thunder roars crossfire, which is a really unique chorus in a very melodic midsection, and the song is really damn good too. Complaints? There's a one big complaint and a couple minor ones. I'll get into the minor ones first. One, the bass could have been up a little bit in the mix, um, and I'm a sucker for bass, so. Not fair, unfair, however you want to call it. I feel like the bass could have been up in the mix. Um, sometimes the songs do sound a little too formulaic in some ways. Like, it's like, okay, you have, like, your groovier songs and you have your catchier songs. And you also have, like, the straightforward, like, ballad moments on this album. And the big complaint I do have with the album is mainly production. Uh, I felt like the guitars and the drums could have been a little bit beefed up a little bit. Like, they do sound a bit quiet, they sound a little bit thin, but besides that, it doesn't really bother me that much. I felt like it just could have been a little more, like, up in the mix in some ways. And uh, Olaf's, uh, his vocals are really damn good. He sounds like um, Vince Young, and, or Vince Young, no, it's Vince Neal, Vince Neal of Motley Crue. And Black and Lawless had a love child with, like, Halford, even Tim Ripper Owens, like, vocals. But, like, he has a higher register. And he sounds absolutely great. But besides those complaints I have with this, I think this is a very solid album. I'm going to give this a B. Um, it's a borderline an A-, minus, but I'm going to give it a B, only because I think production kind of weighs this album down a little bit. Not to mention, you could have cut a couple songs off and it really wouldn't hurt the album. But it's under 50 minutes, really good songs, and that song goes over 5 minutes. And I think it's really damn good. So all in all, you want some classic, traditional heavy metal with some, a little bit of speed metal, a little bit of power metal, and a bit of thrash here and there. I would say check this album out. And this may be an album of the year for me. We'll see. Because so far, everything I listened to this year has been really damn good. So... Yeah, two albums with the word and force in there, and they were pretty damn good. What does that say there for you, huh? So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment, tap that big red subscribe button, tap the bell so when I upload, you guys will be notified. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Most importantly, join the heart. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.